So this is a study looking at comorbidities in patients with diabetic and non-diabetic gastroparesis. And we did a database search of the national inpatient sample from 2005 and 2006 looking at hospitalizations for uh, di diabetic gastroparesis, uh, gastroparesis without diabetes and diabetics without uh, gastroparesis and looked at comorbidities associated with those. Um, and what we found in comparing the non-diabetic to the diabetic gastroparesis patients was that there were three categories where non-diabetic gastroparesis had a higher risk of disease. The first category was malignancy, and here the top five malignancies are the esophagus, stomach, unknown primary, head and neck, and other intra-abdominals. And then we also found that there, were, uh, there was a higher uh, prevalence or a higher risk of autoimmune comorbidities in the diabetic gastroparesis patients, as well as disorders of female organs. Uh, ovarian cysts, endometriosis, menopausal disorders. And then we took a step back and looked at uh, gastroparesis, uh, diabetics with and without gastroparesis, and looked at their comorbidities and found that there was a difference between the microvascular as well as the macrovascular comorbidities. As anticipated, patients with diabetic gastroparesis had a greater uh, risk of um, microvascular comorbidities, retinopathy, the nephritis, renal failure. Surprisingly, the macrovascular comorbidities were lower in the diabetic gastroparesis uh, patients. Um, and the conclusion of our study is that there are different patterns of comorbidities in diabetic versus non-diabetic gastroparesis. Um, and the question with the micro as well as macrovascular comorbidities is, is this a platform to um, do more future studies prospectively looking at what's the pathophysiology of the uh, macrovascular disease as well as microvascular disease and gastroparesis.